All right, everybody, we are going to talk about uh, safety again, fire safety. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about a plan. So I don't know, for, for you that live in a, um, in a complex, there's already a plan. And you might not be aware of it. So it'll be good to talk to the manager or to your neighbor and see what the plan is, you know, especially for those who use wheelchairs. Um, so that'll be important. If you don't and you have an apartment that's all by itself, then it'll be important for you to develop a plan, an escape route, <laughs> if something starts on fire. So that will be really important to this week this week. Yeah, don't delay it. So, you know, sit down and figure out, you know, how if if the fire started here, what door would I would go through? If the fire started over there, then where would I what door would I would escape? So, um where would I put my wheelchair? What do I where do I put my wheelchair now? Does someone put my wheelchair somewhere where I can't reach it? So it's all those kind of questions. Um, it's, it's really important for you to, and I know some of us live by ourselves and we don't have that help that we wish we did. So it's going to be important for you to establish a, a plan in which, you know, for yourself, if you had to get out by yourself, how would you, how would you do it? How would you do it? Because if nobody's there, then how are you going to get out? That's my question. You know, here I have my wheelchair pretty close to me. You know, I can make the one or two steps over to the wheelchair, hop in it, and go. And we have a phrase here in our building. It's go and meet. Go and meet. So, because we, if you live with family, then you have to make a plan as a family, you know, and where are you going to meet? Who's going to go get the kids or the pets, you know? So if you, if it's, if it's more than just you, then you have to include the other people, the other people on your floor or the other people in your, in your apartment, in your home. So what is the plan? Because I don't know the structure of your home. I don't know the structure of, you know, do you have ramps, all that kind of stuff. So so what what will be the plan? What is the best plan? Um, you know, is somebody going to help you get out? Uh, is your wife or your brother or your mom, are they going to help you get out of the building? Or are you going to do it on your own? So that is that is a big question. But I would I would advise any wheelchair user for this month, and especially for this week, you know, get the plan done this week and kind of practice it a little bit uh, and see how it goes. This is October and it is Fire Safety Month. And um, it's good for all of us to set a plan. I have an apartment here, so I have to figure out, you know, if, am I going to have the bed next to, am I going to have the wheelchair next to my bed? So, the plan. A piece of paper, a diagram on where, how you're going to get out. Um, part of the plan is going to be checking the... Um, Smoke detectors, making sure you change them every six months, even though that seems silly, but six months, that's the mark they give us. Um, where are you going to meet or where are you going to exit, you know? Um, so a good, a good plan that you know what you're going to do. If you have a family, then include them in the plan. You know, how are you going to get out? Is somebody's going to get you out? Or is, are you going to get out on your own? Or at least to the door and then somebody will, you know, help you from there. So, you know, 
I'm an ambulatory wheelchair user, so I can walk just, you know, short distances, and then I have to use a wheelchair, but if I had to choose between my walker and um, my wheelchair, I would definitely take my wheelchair. <laughs> so for those who are ambulatory wheelchair users, um, I would suggest you the wheelchair is much more expensive than your walker, and the walker can be replaced. <laughs> um, much more easier than, than a wheelchair. So my suggestion is that you use your wheelchair to get out. Um, what else? That's about it. Um, Every bedroom should have a smoke detector, fire alarm, um, in the kitchen, of course. So it just depends on the size of the house, really. Um, but uh, rooms should have a, a fire detector or a smoke detector. Um, you, you will be alerted uh, quicker and uh, you can chew go out the door. <laughs> I even have my door kind of partially open. It's not closed completely. So, um, and that's for that purpose. You know, if somebody needs me, needs to come in, alert me, because we have, here at our assisted living, we have members who are captains. <laughs> so we have a captain on first floor. We have a captain on second floor. And if the alarm goes off, they are in charge of counting, making sure everybody's on their feet and heading out. Uh, we know where we're supposed to meet. So um, the captains help, you know, get us moving, get us out, uh, get us, you know, give us some direction, you know, go out the front door, go out the front door. Um, so go and meet is, is the phrase that the captains are going to say over and over and over again to me, to me or to us. You know, I am deaf. I use a uh, cochlear implant. This is the processor. So my, my um, risk just went up about five, five times. So um, wheelchair users die very easily in fires. Uh, there are 700 wheelchair users per year who die in fires. And it could be even more. This is a approximate amount of people in wheelchairs who die in fires. So can we reduce that or eliminate that is my question. Can we put out the word, what is your fire, fire safety plan? You have one, you know, help your family member, you know, think of a safety plan so that at least it's here, and then if something does happen, you know, they'll respond much more quicker. So um, think of that number, 700 wheelchair users per year die in fires. Uh, it's harder for us to get out, we're slower, um, so whatever the reason. So it's really, really important to have your wheelchair ready you to get out and for it to be in good condition for you to know exactly what door you're going to exit um just grab and go <laughs> grab and go whatever you need in the house don't spend a whole lot of time in the room figuring out what you're going to pick up and go because your life is first your life is first so <clears throat> um anything else anything that's material can be replaced anything. It's your life that can't be replaced. So uh, really think of this, this October, that all of us, you know, by the end of this month, that we have a, a good plan for us to know exactly how we're getting out. If you live with family, you have a certain advantage. You know, if they don't see you, they're going to come and grab you, <laughs> get you out. And it's true because I don't hear, I have an alarm on my table and it sends a signal to my clock that's over there. And the clock sends a signal to a vibrator that's 
under my sheets. So I'll feel that and I'll look at the clock to see what's going on because the doorbell also signals, sends a signal to my clock and that vibrates in my bed. So, but usually the, the, the fire system has worked for me. It hasn't failed. So, um, the, the, um, horn is up there on the wall and the, then the signaler picks it up, sends it to the clock and then the vibrator starts. And, um, then I wake up and I have to look around. I have to look at the clock to see what's going on. The clock will tell me either it's the door or it's a fire that I need to get out. <laughs> so, because my fire alarm might fail and the captain on this floor knows that. So, once we did a drill, <laughs> once we did a drill and everybody left and I went back to my room because, you know, we were sitting in the dining room. Nobody was telling us anything. There was no directions. So I said, I thought, what the heck? I'm going back to my room and I'll wait for directions. Um, so everybody left. And then when the captains were counting people, <laughs> they said, where's Lisa? Where, <laughs> didn't she come with us? Wasn't she in the dining room? <laughs> I wasn't with them. I was just comfortable in my, <laughs> my recliner. <laughs> so. <laughs> But they realize how easy it is to lose somebody, to, to miss somebody. So the captains really need to go door by door uh, to make sure that everybody is up and leaving the building. <laughs> because the fire was somewhere near our entrance. We weren't clear where the issue was. So we had to go in the other direction. We had to go towards the nursing home, uh, the door towards the nursing home, and go to uh, the the chapel and stay in the chapel. So it was a different direction, but everybody went, which is good. It's just that I was missing. <laughs> so that's how easy it is to to miss somebody. So so if you live in a group home, you live in in assisted living. Find out what the system is, the the safety plan. What is it? So if you don't know what it is already, uh, in if you live in an apartment, you're on you're on floor number three. What is the plan for you? And that's why I suggest nobody live on floor fourteen because you'll be stuck. You can't use the elevators. So if you're going into an apartment that has twenty five floors. And they don't have a first floor apartment for you. Forget it. Because the danger of you dying in on the 15th floor is pretty high. So um, be aware of that. You know, if you're looking for apartments or if you're on the 15th floor, talk to your manager and say, you know, really, I want to put in my name in the hat in case somebody moves out of um, first floor that you would put me in there because I'm in a wheelchair and if there's a fire, I'm screwed. <laughs> so, so I want to put my name in the hat so that if somebody moves from first floor that you will put me in there immediately and then my apartment will become vacant for someone who's mobile. So, um, that's what I want to offer. So I'll check back with all of you to see how you're doing. If you have your plan, if you want to post it, you know, your your house, your little trail on how you're going to get out, all that kind of stuff. I think it would be fun to share it. So I'd have to take a picture of mine that's on the wall and how, how we're doing this. So I'm hoping that uh, this is good. Review it. Think about it uh, so that you are safe every day, every night, um, from fires. And then we could take that 700 wheelchair user number down to zero. Down to zero. All right, people. <laughs> I've hammered you enough. <laughs> so take care. If you want to help my channel, feel free to subscribe, to like, to, uh, 
you know, make comments, watch more videos. All of that will help the channel. So, and I hope to see you in the next video.